Thanks for telling me, I guess. I don't know what that means, though. Oh, they're my headphones. <laughs> I was looking for those. My old earbuds are on the ground. Ah, oh, son of a... I haven't streamed in a long time, so you gotta give me a second to get everything going. I like how I like how I'm already sweating too. It's like there's there's no like delay or anything. I click start stream, it just starts flowing. Access that for some reason. There we go. Okay. It's like the camera's. I sent you have to like recalibrate everything. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take a while to get back to all this. It's been a while since I've been a sub -brim. I've been sick for like the last week. I've been down with the sickness. And I'm only now streaming because I woke up like hacking my lungs out with the phlegm. Took a shower to help with it. And I realize, oh wait, I'm already awake at the time that I now want to stream at, so I might as well stream. If not for that, I probably just wouldn't, would have been straight back to sleep. And my throat still kind of hurts. But despite all that, hope all of you are doing well. The hell is that email? It looks <laughs> looks fucking terrible. Yeah. It may take me a second to get back into the groove of things. Especially get my energy back. I am I'm so out of it. I took some uh, D3 supplement, adult vitamin gummies. 
At least now I know I'm still immature. I was, I was literally in the... at the aisle. And I was considering between the gummies and getting the regular pills. Because I feel like, oh, if I got the regular pills, they would be like more effective or whatever, but... I still opted to get the gummy version of these vitamins. It's like... <laughs> it's why. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, it's just ha what happened. Oh, I'm third place, I didn't even realize that. Lovely. <laughs> and even more lovely. God damn it hurts to swallow a little bit. It's like this weird patch of just like sensation every time I swallow. But eh, I've yet to care. How do you miss so many times?
God damn this B button. It's still terrible. What's up? I don't know, you're the one who's typing it. Whatever it is, it looks terrible. Is that a global emote they added? TwitchCon. Yeah, it's new global emote. Pretty sure TwitchCon's already over. So I'm not sure why that's still a thing. I really hope I can remember some stories, because luckily some things happened. While well, I was gone on my week, sick week. I, I think I probably jotted some stuff down. There's no way I'll remember it. Tell you're back from the first message, wounded. Let's see, did anything happen? Oh, something, something. Not only really nice. Why haven't you streamed? What the fuck, sickle? I mean, I already did kind of explain that I've been sick for the last week. I had a. Um, it, it all started. It all started one night when I was like sleeping under a bunch of layers and clothes. And my room gets really hot. Even when like the the like, computers are running, or whatever. It's just. The AC, the AC's not ran because I don't know, other people in this house get cold fast or some bullshit. But for a whole night, I'm sleeping under layers and a bunch of blankets. So when I wake up, I'm dehydrated as hell. 
damn near delirious. I got massive headaches, weakness in my legs. I, for some reason, stupidly make it to work, even though I know I shouldn't, and I'm a bad excuse. But like a good, uh, wage cuck boy, I make it to work. But then I realize, nah, I don't have energy. So I call in sick and then go back home. Had that today? Ah, oh, damn. And then for the next couple of days, I'm, I'm still dealing with those symptoms. Well, actually, they kind of wane off when I take some ibuprofen. But it's like that, that bout of initial symptoms caused me to deal with um, this just like phlegm and shit and like triggered another sickness I've been dealing mostly with for the rest of the week. Had too much girth. Yeah, that's probably my reason why. And I've been dealing with just on and off phlegm and mucus issues. Like just just a couple hours ago when I was going to bed and planning on again not streaming. I was violently hacking out phlegm because I guess I just kept it in my body somehow. What's up, Onar? And so I took a shower like two hours ago to help with that. Got rid of some of the phlegm, the cough, took some D3 vitamins, gummy vitamins to be specifically, because I just stay childish. And it's like, this is the longest bout of sickness just I've ever had. Christ. Too much growth had you coughing out that phlegm? Yeah, it, probably. And so, just, I just finally mustered up the energy to like, okay, I haven't, I haven't streamed in a week. People in the Discord are rioting and mad, so I might as well just summon the energy somewhere. And that's, it wasn't the 19, it was just... Massive phlegm issues brought about from headaches and... Weakness in the limbs, brought out from dehydration, brought out from sleeping in a hot ass room under two blankets and a jacket <laughs> and pajamas. So just like an unfortunate chain of events that keep lasting. Even so, I still managed to make some videos. I made two videos while I was still sick. Are you an ass or tit? We already talked about this, I preached like on the... The penultimate stream? That was definitely already talked about, goddammit. In the week I was gone wounded, you couldn't come with anything original or new. Nothing like in the slightest. Are we still talking about the same topics a week later? No, of course not. I mean, I like both ass and like both. I like both of them, really. It's kind of dumb to pick one or the other. Wounded is definitely a lol, man. Given how, given how I'm not Muslim, I'm not. I have halal ass and titties. I don't know what that means. I assume it means something. That's convenient. Oh, but one one fun thing, luckily, that I did jot down that happened at work. It was reported, I think, 
either as a memo or like over the, the comm system that one of the managers has been arrested at my at my workplace. At least that was only that was the only part of the message I heard. Apparently it was some like drive thing or like charity or whatever thing, so my manager was like in mock jail and then uh, any money raised from like the clients who came in or from the employees would free the manager from jail. But I thought for a for a quick second <laughs> the other management team were literally announcing that one of the other managers got arrested. <laughs> like in real life. And it, I, I was hoping that was the case because I hate the management over there. And I thought it would have been so damn funny if they did. But now it's just for like... It was mock a jail. Like, like... In a made up jail and then it was just to raise money. But damn it, it would have been so funny if it was like actually in jail and they announced it. I would have laughed my ass off. In front of... In front of like all my uh, co-workers and the clients. Did you hear about the shooting in Maine? I did not know. But damn, yeah, that is unfortunate. Also, you never hear about anything happening in Maine. It seems like such a... A place where literally nothing would happen. Damn, 16 people? Fuck, RP to those guys. Maine would be the last place I would expect anything to happen. So it's even more surprising. Anything positive happened in the news? Even like remotely? Depends which news you're talking about. I mean, good news is good news. What? How's that? <laughs> How's that debatable? Like freaking any parties were thrown, a cat rescued from a tree. You know, just good news. Any good news out there? Like Farnsworth from Futurama. Good news, everyone. Do you think pets are prioritized higher than people now? I don't know, I've never had a pet before. And I've never had a... pet version of a human. Prioritized more? Mmm... Maybe I'm not getting the question, but I'd say no. If you mean like, which ones do people treat more or better? Probably their pets. Because it's like easier. Make people, you know, pamper them and make them look all pretty. Put them in handbags. Little chihuahua handbags. Yeah, so maybe, maybe pets. Like, would people care more about a puppy or a person that's in danger? Oh, well, kind of just answered that question, but... For the average person... Probably a puppy. But like, they'd, they'd be more willing to choose a puppy over a person. Also, I like how you preface that with real talk. <laughs> every time I every time I see that phrase, I'm reminded of Wings of Redemption. 
because he always says that. Yep. Nice green already. My first run in a week. Are we doing pretty well? Okay, fucking bitch wounded. Shut the fuck up, man. Me fucking choose to use my key, now it's gone. <sighs> Rem is somewhere. Out there. No, how about yes? Motherfucker made me use my key, now it's gone. Could be anywhere. This new stream time, man. Um, it's words, man. Fucking just words. This new stream time, man. Then barbering in like different people. Previous. That's a face stuff. Thank you for the hundred bits. Well, well, well. Yeah, I'm finally back, man. Thank you for the hundred bits, face stuff. But yeah, this new stream time will probably make old viewers not be able to show up, or old viewers will show up and then current viewers won't, current viewers won't be able to show up anymore. Where has your face been? It's right there. I'm pointing to like OBS, it's right here, my face. That's what I'm pointing at. Also thanks to the sub face stuffer. Big love for the support, man, thank you. Thank God I can use that emote again. I mean, it's a good emote. It's high quality, premium. Yeah, I've been sick faced off her. I already mentioned it earlier in chat, all the reasons. Sleeping in a hot room, dehydrated headaches, weakness in legs, awakening in old sickness. So I've been out of commission for like a week. No, I didn't catch the fungus I caught just being sick. An unfortunate chain of events. I got sick twice last month. That is indeed whack, man. I went to Vancouver, so I blame that. Yeah, Vancouver is a shithole. <laughs> I don't know if it is. I just, I'm just saying that. Uh, but I'm. I think somewhat better. I'm, I still have just shit tons of shit tons of phlegm and boogers and shit that keeps coming out. But uh, chat, you know me. I'm still thugging it out here. I'm still a boss ass pimp, keeping it real in the mean streets of the Vatican City. You know how it is. I'm still here. There probably is. It's Canada's. Second most populated city? Yeah, so it's probably crap. You sound dope as fuck with the phlegm. That's good to know. At least the phlegm has one positive side, and I just got destroyed. At least hope you I hope you're feeling better than I am, face tougher. I took some um, ibuprofen initially for the headaches, and then I took some D3 gummy vitamins several hours ago for the immune support. Also, I, w I was debating while I was at the aisle getting the gummy version of D3 or the regular pills, because I felt like 
It's like the gummy vitamin version just is so dumb and childish. But I bought it mostly because it's easier to chew and it was cheaper. Get some Dayquil. Isn't Dayquil meant for a sleep aid? I don't need help going to sleep. I can go to sleep easy. <clears throat> I think I need more like maybe a cough drop because the I'm still coughing in this phlegm everywhere. I need to get some cough drops. Nyquil's for sleep. So is Dayquil for waking up. Dayquil just gets you all jacked up and feeling better. Oh, so it's a it's a drug stimulant. A prayer is my medicine. That's all I need. <clears throat> That's all I need, Ram. Thanks. Base like Viagra. <laughs> Maybe I definitely don't need Viagra. But I'll get some cough drops, then maybe some Dayquil. Because, man, this, this is the longest time I've ever, I've ever been out of commission due to a sickness. Like, general procrastination or low energy, sure, but sickness, I can't deal with this. Just need a little Zaza to help you. Get up, get down with this. I already made that joke, Saffronak. I made that joke in my Go Live notification and in, in my Go Live tweet. What's up, Saf? Thanks for the one bit face stuffer. Just need a little Zaza to help you. I'm pretty sure. I gotta stop saying that because, man, it sounds stupid. I'm pretty sure marijuana is a depressant, not a stimulant. So now I'm thinking it would help. Thank you for the one bit. We'll find then. Exits chat. <laughs> I mean, you can say you can say that joke. Just know that it wasn't original. I made the joke twice already, literally. You know, I can call one of my patients at the clinic ED. Explosive diarrhea. I don't see how that relates to whatever we're talking about, but okay. Do you have any cocaine? I hear that helps too. Do I seem like someone who possess, possesses cocaine? And before you answer that, like a smart ass, no I don't. Obviously. Cocaine bear? I, I, I think I remember seeing advertisements about that, I thought that was like a joke or something. I think it's like a movie or something. Yeah, but my illness it doesn't need cocaine. It's based on a true story. I mean, it, that seems like something that can happen. A bear can find some cocaine stash somewhere and then go on a rampage. I think the bear just died to do a bunch of zany shit. I mean, I'm pretty sure a bear can handle a lot of a, a massive amounts of cocaine. I mean, it's a bear. It should be able to do some crazy stuff while... While on the cane, on the cocaine. Oh, DKU, waste of existence. I mean, even for a few hours, yeah. But a bear, a bear should be able to take a lot of cocaine and still be alright. Just drink a Sprite and eat some heated up chicken broth. I've never had a broth in my life and it, that sounds like something that's just disgusting. If anything, the only warm thing I do consume to help with sickness is warm tea. That's, that's, the, that's the most I'll go. I do a full on British cosplay, drink some warm tea. Poor fellow can find his six to take the edge off. That's because I don't do cigarettes. You drink 7-Up? I've had 7-Up in forever. I forgot how, how even it's taste. What does it even taste like? No, I mean the bear was probably looking for a cig after all that blow. Oh, 
<laughs> Probably. DK with that very lovely fuck you. That was nice. At least I now can rebuy the key that I wasted. Sierra Mist is just Sprite, so... Pretty sure I'll taste the same. I don't have any cigarettes. Oh, that reminds me of that image I saw on the Discord. I like how while I was gone, all of you in Discord still kept making like a bunch of photoshops of me and whatnot. Like while I was gone, Girth made a bunch of AI images of me. And like, including, you know, the Pope and the Ouija and all that. And then one recent one I saw, I think just before stream, was of one of Rem's photoshops in my face holding a packet of cigarettes. And it was like a news headline about about something. I don't know. It's like it's it's, it's in the Discord somewhere. I've been trying to do it, but the damn AI is so damn racist to me. Yeah, probably. That's just the reason why. You want something to clear headaches? It displays matter of both Coke, your Coke or Pepsi guy. They're both do the trick. No, the headaches are long gone. My issue now is just the phlegm and the mucus. I put an Arab, then immediately put a dude with a beard. How's that racist? Some Arabs have beards, some don't. Arabs are known to, to be to have prominent beards. If anything, that should be a positive note. Not all Arabs have beards. I have one, but still. Exactly. My my point exactly. That's actually the one parameter which I'm jealous of Arabs. They have always have nice big beards. Why am I dropping frames? Arabs are prominent than having fezes. Oh yeah, I've always liked the fez as a hat. Looks nice. Of all the cultural hats, the fez is like my top three favorite hat. Though you're part Arab, but you don't have a full beard. I'm not part Arab. But okay. Also, why didn't the image load? Why... Why am I dropping all my frames? The fuck, man. I'm now part Arab. Oh, the bot's not connected. Why not? Let me restart it. The ball was not connected for some reason, I don't know why. Why is it not connected? What the hell? Oh, there it is. Okay, the bot should be working. Try resubmitting that image, face stuffer. Stop using that WoW Wi-Fi. I don't have WoW Wi-Fi. I don't, I don't even play WoW. Top three hats. Three Fez, two bowler hat, one fedora. That is so incorrect, Saffronite, it's amazing. A fedora is not even like top seven, top ten hat. The Twitch prison stream is stealing all the bad Oh yeah, I saw that I saw that image you submitted about there's a, there's currently like a live stream going on in a prison. Unfortunately I'm not part of that live stream. There should be a company called Wall that that's like Comcast. I don't know. Like talking about the video game. But now I don't have WoW internet I have. Fucking t I have T-Mobile. Yeah, that WoW game is terrible. RuneScape is even worse. Dalda needs a five gallon hat. 
I never, I, I never know what they meant when they say a five gallon hat. What does that even mean? D does that just mean a big hat? The Doug Dimmodome hat must be number one. I, well, I mean, his hat is a cowboy hat, so... Cowboy hats are like, at least... Top six, I would say. Of, of like, best hats of all time. Fuck you and your bigotry. I'm not a bigot. I just said RuneScape is... Also a terrible game like WoW. Wow, no one has any stars? Damn. My friend has been playing WoW on my account for 17 years. I always get his stupid updates. Wait, did, did you give him your account or did he just like steal it? Like, like, kind of steal it from you. That game rocks, dude. RS all day. I'm sure it does. Because you certainly would, wouldn't be playing a game that you don't truly enjoy. Gamers definitely don't do that. He never gives me the password when I ask. <laughs> what? Wait, so he, he took your account and then changed the password? That is not a friend. That is not a friendly behavior. Yeah, he totally cucked you there. Can't beat that Club Penguin. I don't think I ever played Club, Club Penguin. I came close one time many, many years ago to playing Cl uh, Club Penguin. Just, just never got, got around to it. He got banned, so I let him use it, and yet he acts like he owns it. <laughs> That's not a very good friend. Oh, you can just stop paying for it. Or no, maybe, maybe he pays for it. The friend does. If he's been playing for 17 years. Oh, no. Habba Hotel? I think I played Habba Hotel like... Either either it was Habba Hotel or a completely different game. I played that once in my life. Okay, well I didn't get the... <sighs> coin star, damn. I don't pay for pay for all, but I do have Diablo and StarCraft on it, which I like to dabble in once a year. Alright. Actually, I, I had a box for StarCraft, I remember. A long time ago. I literally had a physical, like, box thing of StarCraft. I think of StarCraft or StarCraft 2. I'm not sure if there's even a sequel. But for some reason, I came into possession of a physical box for StarCraft. I don't know why. Never played the game, of course, because I was never a PC gamer, even back then. But I had one for for some reason. I think I gave it to a friend or something. Yet, yeah, to this day, I don't know how I obtained a box for StarCraft. Where did it come from? Where, where did I get it from? Did I buy it? I, I don't know. I used to scam kids and have a hotel as an angsty teen. <laughs> nice. I mean, I don't know how you would scam them. Is there like a... Is there like an in-game currency? I got scammed on Rocket League. That's kind of deserved, because you play Rocket League. You kind of have that coming to you. You lost your car accessories? Oh yeah, sucks to suck, man. The Pope and the Volva exp Wait, you wait, is that a video out?
if if it's not then Rem, how the fuck do you know about the Pope and the Volva expert? I can't have you on my channel. Hello? No, no, it's not out yet. How the fuck do you know about that, Rem? <laughs> Fucking weirdo. What, did I win? Ah, of course not. I can remember I would convince them to buy me shit somehow. I had a good racket and minions to help. <laughs> nice. Then all those black gentlemen closed the pool with their flash mob and disrupted the meta. Close the pool? Alright. So I saw this vid and it had me laughing, dude. Nice segue wounded. Totally wasn't awkward and forced whatsoever. Yeah, f okay, for context, I have a, there's a highlight video done that I finished called The Pope and the Volva Expert, and Rem just typed that out exactly. So I'm wondering, how the fuck does Rem know about that, because that video isn't out yet. Although I can't go to my dashboard on YouTube for some reason. Oh, it's in the playlist. Oh yeah, it's, I, I auto-added to the playlist. Do you know the name of the space movie in 1992? No? You can body block them, so they just spam the pull and stop them from interacting. Okay. I don't know why they would do that though. Some kids just want to play a hotel game. Alright, another run. No, I, need, I, I don't need to Google it. Normally on YouTube, if you click your profile picture, you can go down to YouTube Studio, but that option wasn't available. I was just wondering, like, how, like, how the fuck did you know that? Because I know that video wasn't published yet. It's got me worried, like, did I somehow, like, forget about it? Dollar was sexually assaulted by a woman. No, I admit to be sexually assaulted by a woman. He's just covering so we don't dis so we don't discover his secret Trojans. Ah, smart. She pegged him from both sides, is what I heard. No, I did not get pegged. Pegged. These are just lies and slander. That sounds beyond uncomfortable, too. I heard about a new asshole that was ripped open. <laughs> uh, yeah, again, not true. I do not have a new asshole. How you feeling on this run? I mean, just started. The first one died. On the first world. This one I'm feeling maybe a little bit better. Ripped you a new one? I don't have a new one. That sounds like a that sounds like just like a terrible thing to happen. When he was talking about you on his stream, do you feel starstruck? No, <laughs> no, not really. I mean, sure, kind of. Like, oh my god, I'm so famous. 
ye who denies the sing about him tends to be avoiding the truth. Or it could just be den denying false allegations. That's also a possibility. Ugh. Red fucking chat. He feels peg stuck. No, I would never do anything like that. It's just. That's my forbidden zone, my taboo area. He feels peg stuffed. <laughs> no, again. So if I send you a five gallon hat, will you wear it? Wear it as your daily for a week. I don't even know what a five gallon hat is. I mean, if it looks good and it's and if it fits, sure. Why? Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> Dick B. Aiken. <laughs> That is not my official nickname. I may have many nicknames, that's not one of them. that manager story is the only one I can remember. Or at least the only thing that seemed interesting in the week. Maybe something will hit me later on. I was a 19 bin. I don't have COVID-19. Just have regular, just cold. It's somewhat better. I feel, I feel less of it, I guess. Even though it's been going on for almost a week. And my throat still hurts like right the fuck. Here. <sighs> the panorama is over. We need panorama. He has a little something. I'm not gonna say it, I ain't judging. We need a little something like a cold? I don't get what you're implying there, wounded. Isn't it flu season? Oops, I don't know, is it? Oh, the lockdowns, oh, okay. I mean, yeah, they, they may be over, but I know I definitely don't have COVID. You know, I can still taste things. I'm not crapping my organs out. I'm pretty sure that's Ebola. That's what that does. No, no, this seems too minor to be the flu. Or like maybe my whole bout of headache and like stuff weaken weaken my immune system enough for me to get flu. I survived the swine flu. Good job, Ram. I'm very proud of you. I thought for the longest time, whenever people associated animals with the flu, it was because only those animals could get it. 
like bird flu, swine flu. I also survived 2012. Good job, man. One. Trick question. Thanks for the one bit face up here. Why did the Ebola patient cross the road? Trick question. There are no roads in Africa. Good one. I'm pretty sure there are roads, but. That's a good joke. Thanks for the one bit. A dirt road is still a road, technically. You know what's weird? Africans are racist towards black people from the US because they're not black enough. Yeah, I know. It's kinda, kinda strange. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Ebola medicine doesn't work in Africa. Underscore dot underscore slash. Because it can't be taken on empty stomach. Good on face suffer. And thank you again for the one bit. Yeah, I think like they see him as like false blacks. Or like tainted blacks. I don't know why, but yeah, Africans just don't like blacks in the US. Yeah. What are we gonna do? I'll stop if. Alright. I'll search up the space movie of 1992. Oh, wait, is that the one where. I think I remember that meme. Is that the one where it says, like, it's gay N words from outer space? Is that the one? Is that the joke you're trying to go for? I have a Somali friend who hates other Somalis. He calls them the N-word. I mean, it's just like with Asians, you know, like how each a Asian group hates the other and like every other variation of them. I guess blacks have them too. Blacks and Africans. Yeah, that is the one I know it. Yeah, it's just strange. People hating for no reason. Oh, like, oh, I don't like you. You're the wrong shit of black. Oh, you're not brown enough to uh, on our uh, to join our side. Sorry, buddy. Just weird. I think even some whites do that, even like throughout history. Like Italians and Irish, I think, were also uh, hated on, not seen as like actual whites. I don't get. It's just a weird thing people do. Humans are strange. Meatballs belong in the spaghetti. I mean, they do complement them well. Actually, speaking of which, I had a meatball sub, I think, just like two days ago. Talk about coincidence. Little, like, six-inch sub. A couple of balls. Cheese. No, it wasn't with double meat. It was only, it was only one roll of... One row of meatballs. You're the wrong shit of black. <laughs> I didn't say wrong oh, shit. I don't like it. You're the wrong shit of black. It's like I'm, I'm both oh, like, streaming oh, like outside of my either. normal time and a little bit sick, so my words don't form as well. They form even 
less than they normally do because I can't speak English good words. Dala had a girthy six inch sub. It wasn't girthy, it was a single row of meatballs with, I think, like shredded mozzarella. Yeah, it was like, it was just. I meant to obviously to say the word shit, S H I T. But I'm sick outside of my you know, normal stream time, so words are even more difficult. That isn't, that's not kinky. No, it isn't. Jared from Subway had that six inch in the jail. <laughs> yeah. Actually, for, for someone who's a celebrity, I think they get like more inches. Like, if, you, if you're like a celebrity outside, once you go inside the jail, uh, into the jail system, you're entitled to more inches from like the bigger inmates. <laughs> So Jared is definitely getting at least like nine inches, ten. I hate Subway, but I had a craving for a meatball sub last week. I bought it, it was delicious, then disgusting. Good times. Sounds like a lovely time. I haven't been to Subway in years. I kind of want to go again. The BLTs on flatbread I would order, it's pretty good. Even though I'm pretty sure that was the bread that was found out to have like yoga mat material in it. <laughs> Jared paid off his victims, but the judge saw right through it and threw the book at him anyway. We'll get on the judge. It's a good thing he did that then. May he rest in piss. But the same thing when I heard about Drake Bell. Oh yeah, didn't Drake? I remember seeing um, screenshots and stuff. Yeah, apparently Drake Bell from Drake and Josh was also caught grooming. Like goddamn, dude, you're a, you're a teenage, a child slash teenage teenager star like why ruin that there's a, some 13 or 16 year old girl like why dude why why ruin all that he literally had it all he had the looks he had the talent of the guitar and you know instruments and whatnot music career like why? I want to drop a bell on Drake's head. Nice. He wants his ideal chick. Underage apparently. <laughs> That's his ideal chick. Damn. I mean, that's that's the least you last thing you expect from something like that. Josh is probably, you know, off doing whatever, so you know, maybe new shows, whatever, but... Man, you never truly know what someone's up to. Yeah, apparently so. Oh yeah, he was an Oppenheimer, I remember that. Yeah, in the, in the movie, he, he was one of the many surprise, um, like guest actors in that movie because Josh was in there that dude from uh, the boys was in there like the, the main human uh, dude was in there uh, who else it just a bunch of like just strange actors but yeah Josh Peck that's his name he was in Oppenheimer's strange Strange cast, but it worked.
Is Oppenheimer out on DVD yet? Because I definitely want to get the get it on DVD. They're basically just trying to justify Hiroshima. We mean with the movie? I don't think so, no. It's I'm pretty sure the movie is more of a biopic of you know, the dude Oppenheimer. It is raining. Nice. Damn, that is a nice gold split. And luckily the window was active, so I can split it on time. Almost three minutes. Excuse me. It still hurts to hurts to swallow. issues and causes weird throat shit to happen. That's why you spit. I don't know how to respond I don't know how to respond to that without implying the other. So I'm just not gonna respond to that. I don't spit or swallow. That's how I'll respond. kind of unexpected. He takes it on the face. <laughs> no, I also don't do that. But good one. I'm not giving you that one. Because I know your ability to make clips has yet to improve, so I'm not going to give you that one. it back though. Mm-hmm. 
nice. I, I definitely go with the five gallon hat. You must understand, oh young Dalda. I'm very opportunistic. If I see you fuck up, I will. I will be there to clip you. I didn't fuck up though, I was just stating like a genuine issue about my throat. But because you're such a sexual degenerate, you decided to... Clip that out of context. And contort and distort it in your own fashion. Yeah, I look pretty good in a five gallon hat, I should... Probably get one now. Okay, Mr. Throat Goat. I still don't know what that means, and why people keep calling me that. But thanks. Also, <laughs> I remember taking that selfie when, um... When I think when I went on Discord and asked people about the new stream hours, like just for their general opinion. Then like I got a couple responses, so I uploaded that selfie as like a prize, as like a rare Dalda. You know, a super rare, you know, one out of one picture of Dalda. It means your throat is the greatest of all time. I don't know how my throat would be the greatest of all time, but... Thank you, man. I think he's just phlegm today. The goat throat will return next stream. I mean, this should be gone. I'm gonna get, you know, some warm tea. Some cough drops. It should be good shortly. It's a rare high-resolution picture. Well, that's because I took it on my phone. And yeah, I mean, my streams, I mean, my streams are 720p, but my YouTube videos, most of the time, are 1080p. Send me Bob and Vagine. I, f I don't know how that applies to what we're talking about. There's probably an obvious connection, but I'm just not seeing it right now. Cough drops and meatballs on the throat goat. Actually, I think there still, be, there still may be some meatballs in the fridge. I can have another sub. Although there is also chicken and rice. Should probably have that instead. Uh, some more CD-RAM avant-garde humor. I love to see it. Sometimes you go full screen and we get a higher resolution at the moment. I mean, yeah, that is definitely it. I, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's I. That scene where I go like, I don't really go full screen because that's just like weird. But the camera is bigger, so yeah, it's in that scene which I have that is literally called Big Cam. Kind of like you know, Big Iron, with the song. This is definitely more than just standalone images in which I, I I appear more high resolution. Otherwise, you're normally about half an inch wide. Yeah, I just don't like big big cameras on stream. You're supposed to get it, okay? Yeah, I don't like having my camera big big on stream because it it's especially when when I think the point of the stream is not my face. No one comes to, to my stream for to look at my face. My face is not the main focus of the stream, if anything. So I just don't have big cams ever. Or most of the time. Where's the second angle we need a rear view? But you want a view of like, you want like a camera right here next to the diamonds poster and then it's just pointed at the back of my head? <laughs> Why? What purpose will that serve? The only thing you'll see is just the back of my head and my two uh, computer monitors. Yeah, I want a back of headshot. 
Why? It serves no purpose. I don't know, I remember you showed the top of your head once and I couldn't look away. When did I show the top? It, that could have been literally any stream like in the past three years where I showed the top of my head. I didn't throw that mini at my one. Are you blind? Wounded? Oh, back when I had my super dreads. Okay. I mean, I definitely don't see the point to a, like, above the head POV of, like, of my stream. There's really no point in doing that. A rear view? Or, like, from the back? Kinda, yeah. You purposely showed us the top of your head? I didn't purposely show it. I was most likely leaning over to get something, and then the camera was just right there. So, so you guys can see, like, the unmitigated bush landscape that is my head head topping whatever the kids call it the kids don't call it head topping I mean if you do the above shot you get a controller too I mean he has a nice you know double feature I think Chad asked to see the head topping no one in chat even at that time asked hey Dalda can I see the top of your head I know for a certain no one has ever asked that. Big iron, big iron. That's legit how it went. I seriously doubt it. If anything, what most likely happens is that I was leaning over to like either mess with my N64 or mess with cables or like scratch a leg, and then I leaned leaned over. And then you saw the top of my head. Nah, it wasn't breezy. He's not. He's an ass to see the top of my head. I think you are mistaken, face over. Experiencing, um. It's called the Mandela effect. You're experiencing it live. Nah, no, you're mis misremembering, man. Chad demanded head topping. No, they didn't. There's never been one like, once even like a joke request. Like ask me to stand up and show full body, sure. Show my elbows, I think like once ever. But never a uh, head topping. I think someone asked you to show feet and it was a compromise. No one has ever asked me to show feet. You're definitely either experiencing the Mandela, Mandela effect or you're lying. You're, de you're definitely lying. Your age has caught up to you. Now you're misremembering everything. <laughs> Papa T. No, even that. I've never been asked to do that, given I don't... do that sort, sort of thing. Also, I'm not like some kind of whore that just like shows my body like that. I'm a professional. I'll get probably like third place in this one.
Good call. The gills will be flocking in here with their CCs. Their CCs. Not sure what that is, but yeah, they probably will. Oh, credit cards. Yeah. Mass donating. Oh, I heard uh, Dalva is popping a titty. How much do I have to donate for that to happen? How much must I contribute to the Papa Titty Fund? <laughs> Have you ever considered prostitution as a career? You know what? No! Motherfucker. Obviously not. Why would I as a career? Like, I have many other career paths to choose from. Like, prostitution is always, like, the bottom of the bottom of the list for careers, if you literally have nothing else to go for. Luckily for me, my life hasn't been, like, destroyed or ruined to the point where I have to do that. But you have a suit? Do you think male prostitutes are the only people who wear suits? They're like a high-class escort. You know, I'm trying to consider that as a compliment, but it's really hard to. Dalda After Dark. No, I don't do that After Dark. I'm assuming you meant that as a compliment to call me a high-class escort, but no, I don't do... I've never considered escorting or becoming a prostitute. I have too much self-respect and the love of both of my parents. Well, I wouldn't imagine you'd be sucking dick at the rest area. <laughs> Thanks, man. I'd see you with, I'd see you with the rich gilfs. I imagine that's somehow more respectable. But <laughs> no, I've never. To answer your question, no, I've never considered doing that. This game is throwing. Yeah, it is. Nice double battle. Yeah, I love that. He'd be the glory hole. I would never be a glory hole. Okay, yeah, just don't grab his bag. You're like a level above pool boy? What's a level above pool boy? Yeah, you be grabbing their bags. Yeah, because I need the mushrooms to win the minigame. It's literally the objective. <laughs> the level above a pool boy is a glory hole boy. I ra I'd rather be a pool boy than a glory hole boy. If it makes you feel any better, I'm stuck in Gardener's Zone. Doesn't make me feel any better. Why are you involved in this prostitution hypothetical? You're almost 40 years old. Tell the ladies you're into import-exports. <laughs> Who fucks the gardener exactly? You're just, you're, it's just, you're just like including yourself to be involved in the scenario. He gardens... He gardens the ladies' gardens? I bet... I'm pretty sure high-class women would take care of their own... Hygiene like that. Ooh. At least the black gentleman in import exports is super fuckable. Is that like my official Yelp review of my services? Like, you know, that gardener, he was not so good around the bushes, but oh yeah, that black dude in a suit, man. Very fuckable. Five stars. Stop. 
His reputation as the throat goat really precedes him. He beats them bushes, and he does it well. <laughs> Rem, you're, you're repeating yourself, man. You already made that joke. You're starting to pull a wounded. Repeating the same joke. But at least yours are funny. That was because that was that funny originally. You could lie and promise to import to import in Louis Vuitton handbags and shit. If I'm being paid to have sex with these older women, why would I buy them handbags when they already have the money to buy that? He lets the bushes beat back though, it's kind of weird. I mean, that's what he's into. Some people are into that kind of stuff. Okay, okay, I get it. You're really into your importer-exporter career. I'm not, it's just really a stepping stone to my future endeavors. Treat them right and they'll treat you right. I mean, you assume so, like they give you a tip or something. They, they leave you a good review. Oh, nice try, broke bitch. Get your money up, now you're funny up. The peg tip for sure. No, definitely not. That sounds really, really terrible. That marinate? No. I will not marinate on the topic of pegging. No siree, Bob. What the fuck? Okay. I'm pretty sure I already mentioned this. Like, I already given my opinion about pegging and all that. But I will never do it. It sounds beyond uncomfortable and painful. It is a massive no-go for me. My butt is like... Sorry to segue like this. Is like... My last bastion of manhood, if you will. So that's why no pegging can happen over there. Would you peg a woman? Isn't that just called sex? Or are you implying that I'm using a fake, like, prosthesis penis instead of my own? A sacred brown star- I mean, I almost do consider it sacred, yeah. So, its purity must not be tainted with artificial... ...force, if you will. I mean, like, am I using my penis? My actual, like, human-born penis to fuck, or am I using a fake one? Because that'd be weird. Worst pattern? It's probably late night for him. Also, he, he said he's been busy. Whenever, like, he and I talk to each other in DMs, he's been busy for a while. Two chicks at the same time? I mean, yeah, yeah, but you're using your real penis on one of them and a fake one on the other. That's, that's not really having sex with two girls at the same time. Parent has like a 9 to 5 job. Yeah, he has a 9 to 5. I'm pretty, yeah, he runs his own business. Sure, too. You know, does a lot of transportating. Like Jason Statham, so. 
he's kind of bit he's pretty he's probably busy right now dude how are you so ass with this game how am I ass I'm winning I have the highest star count and coin count combined what do you mean oh the mini game and that mini game it's 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 a weird sensitivity thing with the flicking of the control stick I'm just not good at it's really sensitive also it's not important for me to win every single mini game He's probably working harder than us. Maybe so. I mean, when you when you own your own business and do like, you know, national transportation, yeah, you kind of do. It's winter time now, so I get paid to sit around and work a few days a month. Nice. It's important to say that thirty seconds. I mean, yeah, sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. Yeah, Pattern is also a dad, yeah. I mean, yeah, that is you faced up for, but there are multiple dads that watch my stream. Pattern being one of them. And Girth. And Tay Tay as well. A lot of dads in my stream who watch my stream. I mean, I was due for a lot of time save, but... Meh. Wounded will be one as well. Why are you talking to the third person, you fucking weirdo? Wounded, you can be unfunny or crazy, but you can't be both. Pick one. Pick a struggle, wounded. Only one. If Dalda popped a titty once in a while, he might. While he might breed. Maybe, but I'm not willing to run those odds. I'm trying to be sincere here, and you basically told me to fuck off. No, I didn't. If I wanted to tell you that, I would just tell you to fuck off, but. No, I didn't. No, but dude, I'm, I'm pulling for you too, Wounded. Hopefully you'll become a dad as well. I am not already bred. I can guarantee you that. Yeah, no problem, man. And maybe hopefully I'll become a father as well one day. And I'll join all of you other dads. Mario, fuck you, man. I was so close to being last place, and then Mario ruined it. My family is worldwide. Nice. I mean, that just sounds like a cool thing to say nonetheless. Even near China? Cool. Oh yeah, it is, yeah. Oh yeah, you're not from Palestine. Yeah, never mind. I mean, yeah, I still hope they're alright, but... I just got the geography wrong a little bit. Really, it is safe? Okay, good. I always thought that was concerned for, like... Like, spill, you know, like... It goes over to that area. Why did I die, man? <laughs> I thought I was playing well. I want to take a vacation trip to Israel. I mean, you can do that if you want.
Both Lebanon and Syria got hit. Damn. Oh, I know. Good choke run. I mean, yeah, it seems to be spreading. It's still somewhat cold. send in three aircraft carriers and a few destroyers too. Well, and that should be... That should be it right there. Just one and done. Aircraft carriers, destroyers, done. Israel's not letting food or water to be given to the Palestinians though. Oh yeah, it's, yeah it's, isn't it landlocked? Isn't Palestine landlocked? You ready to get drafted? <laughs> I'm not getting drafted. <laughs> Funky thing this is, you think I'm, think I'm going over there? Even if I was an American citizen, which luckily I'm not, I'm a great member of the Vatican, Vatican City. If I was, it's bye bye America and hola Mexico. you think this is? The book on all sides including the water? Oh, okay. Traff dodger, shame on you. Yeah. Our nation is calling what ha what's happened to Genesis what's happening at genocide? And whoever does, this should be reprimanded for genocide, but nothing's being done about it. Okay, that's yeah, still going on. There's like even no mention of like calming things down or things dying down. Dollar has flat feet, he wouldn't last a day. Or just say you're gay. Yeah, I could do that too, but nah. Just wanna deal with it in general. In that case, I'm streaming to all my all my Spanish-speaking viewers now. Seven thousand killed. Fuck. Damn. Almost lost the mini game. Because, uh, mini game because I was thinking about the unfortunate seven thousand victims. I mean, that'd be kind of a stretch for the DBZ jokes. Because you're, you're, you're down by 2,000. Okay, I still won the minigame. <laughs> Little too early. General Sweater Cannons. I haven't heard that name in forever. seen the videos of people being killed. Not necessarily something I watch on, like, on the daily. You know, YouTube videos, TikTok, watch my neighbors go past. Videos of people dying is not really something 
I consume. Sergeant First Class Seamus Sweater Cannons. As much as... Even though that sounds very lovely. Actually, that does sound pretty cool. Thank you for the one-bit face stuffer. Yes, man, that sucks. There's one where this father had run into the hospital with the, re the remains of his son in two separate bags. Oh, god damn. I did release some hardcore footage, but I couldn't find it. I mean, I don't know who's actively looking for footage of shit blowing up and people dying. I mean, yeah, blowing up a hospital, they yeah, have the sound... I'm not even sure, I'm not even sure of the definition of war crime, but blowing up a hospital would be probably close to it. Oh, you just wanna know what's going on? Okay. Cause I, I had a feeling you weren't one of those, like, weirdos who, like to, who likes to actually see, like, footage of people dying. I just couldn't tell, like, what, like, why, why'd you wanna see footage of that? Families are writing the names of their children on their hands, so if they were to find their bodies, they can identify who they are. Damn, that is... that is sad. There are some weirdos out there who actually like to, to watch videos of that, and unfortunately I knew one back in like, I think, high school. But luckily I had a feeling that you weren't that type of person face stuffer. I remember kids trying to go into Rotten. Oh yeah, Rotten.com and... There's another one like... Ogre? Like, ogreish? It's like Ogre... I think it's Ogreish or Ogreish. I knew about Chaotic. I did not hear about that one. The same in your high school rem, yeah. Oh yeah, also 4chan, yeah. It's like, what is wrong with people sometimes? Lots of people are fucked in the head. True. The mods attach girl pros to their attackers when they when they went in, so there's a lot of footage. Oh shit. Okay. That makes a little bit more sense. I might as well eat these cookies. IDF says there's four terabytes of POV footage of the attack on Israel. Four terabytes? God damn, dude.
I mean, they definitely have uh, enough material to go around. No, I can't order food, it's... It's too late. I'm pretty sure the majority of the shops and restaurants are closed down. So in the meantime, I have... Cookies. There's a video for a reporter in Israel who was supposedly saying there were shots and missiles happening but they're hiding under a car. Come to find out, you can see people on their bikes chilling next to her. Nice. Good job, news reporter. Dumb bitch. You can order pizza 24-7 in first world countries? I mean, yeah, but Vatican City, I wouldn't say it's a first world country. I also already have, I have some cookies here and some chicken and rice, I'll just eat that. Yeah, videos of people getting killed designed up to prove of war crimes. Ah, people. Eat the balls of meat? I'm not, I, I still can't remember if there's some left over. But there might be. I don't have celebration cake, dude. This is literally my first stream back in a week, so I didn't prep. I didn't prep all my usual stuff. The closest to cake I have is cookies, and I'm gonna eat that right now. I'm not expecting to peep you today. The RNG gods are probably unhappy with me in my absence. Zebra cakes are good. Actually, I had some. I want to say a couple weeks ago. They're still pretty good. Zebra cakes. Just a hint of phlegm for good taste. There's still that weird patch of like just sensation in my throat when I try to swallow. I don't know why. Is that a clip face stuffer? What is that? Fail to determine content classification. I guess the link you sent me was broken. Yeah, Twitch is being whack.
Oh, I think I remember this one. People call it a war crime simulator. I mean, a war crime is only a war crime if there's people who talk about it. If you don't leave victims alive, then... Did yes. a war crime actually happen, you know? Ready? That's a good clip. Yes, actually, yeah, kind of was kind of germane to the topic that was talked about. So it's just green. But a lot of time save. Two additional minutes of time save. Sour cream, AI guide to space, death laser beam, funny me, paper read. I'm sure there's much more to that phrase. I remember typing at least like three lines to that to that sentence. Thank you for the one bit face tougher. The all green dream redeem, baby. Yeah, a couple variations. Or like, um, addendums to it. And thank you for those 100 bits. Big love as always. I'm pretty sure I... I think I... Um, Neat. Um, why do you start a hoot, Nanny? I think it's a seven bits face offer. Neat. Twist is breaking. Thank you again for the seventy bits. <laughs> Twitch is breaking. Why isn't Discord loading? Trying to load Discord. I guess Twitch, yeah, Twitch is messing up either on your side or just in general. But thank you for those 70 and 7 bits. I'm pretty sure I made it a pinned message. Yeah, here it is. It's the all green dream redeem type pants busting at the seams, a burrito with sour cream, AI gutted death laser beam, gold splits with a bright gleam, multi bound paper ream, blood curdling scream, 
downloading games from Steam, broadcasting on a Twitch stream, always reign supreme, victory is the theme. Run. That's the, like, full version I posted. Also, I didn't mean to start a hoot nanny, I was too busy reading that gem of a message. So far on this prison stream, I saw some push-ups. They showered in their shorts and a lot of bad rapping. They went from 250k viewers to 90k. It's 90,000 people watching a bunch of prisoners on a stream? Damn. Not bad for some bad rapping. I mean, I can do that and definitely not get 90,000 viewers. I mean, also, I don't do bad rapping. I have very good rapping skills. Oh, it's a contest on a real prison? Oh. Okay, then never mind. Fuck that, and they're false. False advertising. They went 100k for the last one standing? Okay. Yeah, damn it! I was really thinking it was like an, it was an actual prison stream. Also, that makes sense because life in prison will definitely give you better bars for your raps. So that makes sense. No, you only get those on Instagram live when they smuggle their phones in. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice prison roleplay. Allowing uh, contraband in. Son of a bitch, it's I keep forgetting that space right there. Oh man, so close. TTS in prison would be hell. Oh yeah, it would be. It's so much, like so much instigating and like near riot causing. At least a couple shinkings. Imagine doing that. I can imagine some other, you know, gullible idiot with no concern for himself doing that. Corrections should look into live streaming. Could be a nice second revenue stream. Maybe give some crack hits some baseball bats once in a while. I mean, yeah, it pro it'd probably be yeah, a lot of a lot of money as a revenue stream. And crackheads with bats is bound to be entertaining. Don't prisons already make money off the inmates by, by them doing like, you know, making license plates or something? If they were to make even more money off the prisoners, or if anything, give the money to the prisoners, since they're the ones, you know, providing the entertainment. Yeah, business in the USA, yeah. 
So yeah, you can do that, but then give them money to the prisoners, and then they can use it to pay their bail. They must literally entertain for their lives. Give them money to pay for TTS. Yeah, you can do that too. It feels so weird at streaming at this hour and not going to bed immediately. I feel all kinds of... Discombobulated. Imagine if Twitch was actually cool enough to show a real prison stream. That'd be pretty cool. No, but Twitch is too lame. Too full of nerds and geeks. All the not even allowed to pop a titty. <laughs> well, thing is, like allowed, sure. I can definitely do it since I possess the ability, and I definitely won't get banned. My stream is way too small and relevant to be banned. But yeah, but like in terms of being allowed to like Twitch, allowed. Twitch certified? Yeah, definitely not. They've banned dude tit? I mean, yeah, but from like people who actually get viewers. I'm safe. I'm safe from that regard. Again, the whole, you know, small streamer thing I've said. There is a benefit to being a small streamer. The one is the free showing of... Of... of man... Tit. I just don't do it because I'm a professional. Small but the feds are always in chat. <laughs> yeah, but they're cool. They're, they're cool feds. Gmart? Oh, they definitely did. His ass is gone. Doing a hard time. He's a number in the system. Nah, he definitely is. Just like that weatherman, Gil Simmons. I mean, Gil Sims is probably free. He's a free man. He would do something stupid like tank his lucrative weatherman reputation. I like that he's actually dissed Girth 
so he hates him with the fiery passion. Wait, has he? Has Gil Simmons actually insulted or like talked talk back to Gertha or is it just completely one-sided? Some offhand remark? Is there a picture of this remark somewhere? Screenshot? Gil Simmons thinks he's allowed to like Gert's wedding pictures on Instagram. <laughs> this fucking bastard. I mean, bastard both for this game and bastard as in Gil Simmons. Where does he get the nerve? He was so pissed about that. <laughs> I actually wonder how it all started. Because it seems like it would have a very either like dumb or very minute like start of events. <laughs> I, I can actually see it happen. Like Girth posts his wedding pictures, and then he's seeing like all the oh congratulations, it looks lovely, you look great, and all that. And then the one little bit in his feet, he sees that name that should not be spoken. Gil Simmons, thinking... Like, what the fuck is this? It must be a small town to have a weatherman as an enemy. Yeah, like... It's probably like 3,000 people or something. It's, all, it's, it's an interesting person to have as an enemy, too. Most of you have, you know, like, politicians as your enemy. Neighbor. You know, other ones. But a weatherman. Ah, dude, okay, I kind of want this to end already, because I kind of want to get at least a few hours of sleep. I'm not used to, to this new streaming schedule, so I gotta slowly adjust to it. I may get, I may go to sleep immediately after this board, even if it wins. Or somebody I think is the mayor. Oh yeah, also mayor. Okay, Mr. Mayor. Listen to that spin doctor's mix. And they're all my coins. For any of you who are unaware, that was an always sunny in Philadelphia reference. I actually have beef with my mayor, but he doesn't know me. <laughs> of course he doesn't know you. Mayors don't have time to know the names of all their constituents. It's impossible. He owes me 60 bucks. Why? This, this is probably going to be like a super good time, but I'm... I don't have the energy right now to continue this. I helped prepare for an event he was holding, and they shortchanged me 60 bucks. Do you have like the receipt and everything on you? Because if you t if you take it if you take it to him, with enough proof and everything, you know you might you might win. And then the. Piece of shit got elected because 
of my hard work on the on the lawn. I think you. Jesus Christ, man. You may have mentioned this before. I think. Like I recall you talking about hating some politician because of money you spent. And then like, oh, and then you saying, oh yeah, he only won it because of the lawn that I took care of was, you know, pristine. It was a, it was a face duffer certified lawn. I get so mad when I see him waste tax dollars. I mean, I would too, with like any politician. If I were you, I try to get some of my money back. Like get you, get get you your sixty dollars, man. Yeah, that's okay. I like how he was so close to getting it. That star buying it. The gamers give him a star either way. It doesn't matter. Th this this time save is going to be tremendous, but I'm not going to continue it. I need to get some sleep. If you think if I rushed him, he would throw me a 50 and call it good, <laughs> or am I going to get the taken out by the city cops? Yeah, you'll probably get taken out by the city cops. Way too convenient. Try maybe like instead of. <laughs> I don't know why you. This one is too good to die. I noticed, but I'm I'm tired, man. I'm not used to this new s s stream schedule yet. I want to give at least a few hours of somewhat good rest. And it's okay, there'll be there'll be more runs like this. There'll be more good runs in the future. Instead of rushing the mayor, try like walking up to him politely and nicely. Yeah, I'm getting the itis. Ate too much meatball uh, subs. And then I gotta crash. Or see even like schedule an appointment with him in his mayoral office. The May Oral Office. I mean, yeah, this is a great time to save, but I'm getting tired, man. Still fighting off this sickness, too. Gotta get some cough drops, some tea, some warm tea. Something. You know what? I'll take the cough drops and put it into my warm tea. I get the double, the double dose. Hey, new PC is still working out beautifully. I haven't turned it on in like two days. But yeah, it's pretty good. Hey, this is a beautiful time safe. Unlucky that's on this run. Why aren't you using it now? I am, motherfucker. <laughs> Obviously I am. Yep, first place, pretty good. <laughs> Time save is pretty alright. Yeah, but I didn't necessarily get a, enough such good sleep before waking up. I was, still, I was literally tossing and turning, swallowing phlegm and then violently hacking it out in the shower. But so, but pretty good run. Pretty good run. And at least I streamed. I finally came back to the, with the new schedule. You're eccentric enough. I could see you buy a fancy PC and not use it much. You think I'm eccentric? 
that was a premium level throw. That was like gold membered, <laughs> gold member, platinum status, high tier throw. I'm just, yeah, tired, man. My body has to get accustomed to this new schedule. You think I'm eccentric? I'm definitely more plain. And you know, if I'm if I'm buying a fancy PC, I'm using it. All right, but yeah, sorry for the sorry for teasing. React to something real quick. To what? I'm not a just chatting streamer. I don't know how to react. Yeah, I know, it's like... I, I don't have anything ready since I'm not, I don't, I'm not, I'm not a reaction streamer. That's right, I'll be back tomorrow, though. Yeah, but thank you for watching on the new schedule. First week, or first time back in a week. Hope you all have a great rest of your mornings, afternoons, and evenings. No one's live. I'm streaming at a complete new schedule, and still no one's live. God damn it. Yeah, I just need to rest up, reacclimate to this new schedule. I'll be good. Thank you, Face Stuffer, for the 178 bits throughout the stream and the and the sub earlier. Thank you, man. Yeah, get some warm tea, some cough drops. Get rid of this phlegm. And I'll be good. Have a great rest of your mornings, afternoons, and evenings. And that's that. Wait a minute, chat. Did you really think I would leave this stream? Without giving you some words of wisdom, chat. Did you really think I was going to do that? Give you some wiser words from the holy book? You a bunch of idiots. You really thought I was going to do that, didn't you? You really, th you really thought so. I'm going to pick a random quote and just give you little nuggets of wisdom for you to ruminate on. Think about when when you're home. Okay, here's your uh, small nugget of sage wisdom for you to think about. Marriage is like a besieged fortress. Everyone outside wants to get in, and everyone inside wants to get out. Smart, smart. All right, and now with that, Have a great rest of your days.